Do you love the chaos of the barrages? Is the 380 or 120 better on Helldive difficulty? What is the damage difference and how many shells do they fire? Does the new ship module make these finally useful? How do I get the most value with the randomness of these? These questions are what we're going to be focusing on in today's video. So the 380 and the 120 millimeter barrages are usually overlooked in most people's loadout, but these two tools are unique stratagem picks for either softening up an enemy objective or denying an area to the enemies when defending extraction, for example. They both fire 18 shells, and the 380 shells do more damage than the 120. They are able to kill Bile Titans in one direct hit, and Factory Striders in either two or three direct hits. It's hard to tell because so much chaos is happening when we're doing our testing. Now, it's also worth noting the 120 can kill these enemies, but it does less damage and takes multiple direct hits for Bile Titans, for example. They both also have a base 240 second cooldown. So what are the different pros and cons of these? And should you even bring the 120 millimeter barrage if it's not able to kill larger enemies easily? So I think what we should start with first is the range of both of these stratagems and with the new ship module upgrade that decreases the spread by 15%. Now from what I could tell the 380 millimeter barrage has a spread of about 40 meters. You can even see it creates giant craters completely leveling an area. Now I did also do some earlier tests where stray shots could go as far as 50 meters. Now, I'm not sure what could be causing this, because in the test I was showing you guys, uh, it was a desert planet and none of the shells left 40 meters. Now, the second test where I had a stray shot go 50 meters, this planet had mountains rather than the, the desert from my other test. So maybe because of the terrain it's landing behind it, or there's possibly another reason, I'm not sure, but most of your shots should land within 40 meters of the throw, basically giving this an 80 meter diameter from one side to the other. Now the 120 millimeter on the other hand is the same way. It has about a 25 meter radius, but again, on the mountain planet, I had shots go as far as 30 meters. And I just want to stress, I'm not saying that mountain planets are guaranteed to make the radius larger. I really don't know why I had slightly different results in these tests. But it seems like depending on what mission or possibly what planet you're on, the spread can sometimes be a bit further. In general, the 380 millimeter is about 40 meters and the 120 is about 25. Now, one thing that also affects the spread is the orbital scatter modifier. It pushes the 380 as far as 50 meters consistently, and I've even seen the 120 as far as 40 meters with this modifier active. But given that these barrages are already very random on their own, I don't really mind running these with that modifier as much as the orbital precision strike, for example, which is completely useless under that modifier. It's also possible that you want to take the 120 over the 380 if you have this modifier active because it does push that spread further, so it may be more useful for bot outposts, for example. But that's just food for thought, I haven't exactly tested that yet. So what is the actual usefulness of these barrages, taking into account the randomness of them? Well, they are very strong against enemy bases and just giant groups of enemies. Now, you don't want to just throw one of these at a patrol you see walking by, what you want to throw these at are mission objectives, outposts, enemy bases, or bug breaches, or giant bot drops, or when you're defending extraction, for example. Now, when it comes to bot bases, I just happened to measure a random heavy outpost we cleared, and it was 70 meters apart. And if we remember, the 380 has roughly a 35 meter range. That means that every shell should land inside of this heavy bot outpost. And the 380 millimeter barrage will often solo heavy outposts like this, given that it shoots 18 shells, and there's usually only four or five fabricators inside. So what about bug nests on the other hand? Well, the 380 barrage can't fully clear these, at least it never has for me. I'm sure someone out there has gotten very lucky, but more often than not, there will only be five or so bug holes left afterwards, which are super easy to run around and close with my grenade pistol, as well as heavily softening the guts of all the bugs inside and leaving them splattered along the floor. Heavy bug nests also have a 70 to 80 meter diameter, similar to heavy bot outposts, so these are a great target for the 380 barrage. Now, one tactic I actually wanna try is possibly shooting inside and triggering the bug breach or the bot drop to go off before throwing 
bring this in. So that way, I can deal a ton of damage to the reinforcements that come in. And again, this isn't a tactic I've tried yet, but I think I'm going to try it in the future to see how that goes. Now, one quick tip I have for you guys is put on the servo armor when running these barrages, because not only will this give you limb health, which helps you live longer, but more importantly is the throwing range to get your barrages to land in the middle of these outposts, or if you're just throwing it at the mass horde of red dots on your minimap, keep it away from your teammates and stop team killing them. So heavy nests and heavy bot fabricators are the obvious use case for these, but what other kind of objectives can we do with these? Well, the 120 millimeter can be very useful against shrieker nests and detector towers. Given that both of these objectives have a smaller radius, but at the same time, both of these objectives aren't like bug holes or fabricators. You can't just throw a grenade at them. You need something with heavy armor penetration. And I find that the 120mm is actually pretty great for these. Just try to land it in the middle of each shrieker nest, and you might get unlucky and it won't kill all three, but every time I've thrown it at a shrieker nest, it has taken out all three of them. And now the same thing with detector towers. Because a detector tower is pretty small, you probably want that smaller radius on it. And I would like to note that the 380 can obviously also kill both of these and we have thrown 380s at them before and they have taken it out for us but it does have a larger radius so it's possible that the 120 is a little bit better against these i think i would have to do some more testing with the 380 against both of these specifically to see if it doesn't kill it or maybe like out of 20 times, how, how often doesn't it kill it? It's just that logically, these are smaller objectives and smaller locations, so it seems like the 120 might be a little bit better for them. Again, though, it is worth noting that the 380 only needs a single shell to land on the detector tower to take it out. So if you need to take out a detector tower, don't feel bad about throwing a 380 at it. Shrieker Ness, on the other hand, it will destroy those, but you have three actual targets it needs to hit, so it's probably less likely to kill all three of those all the time. But again, we have used 380 for, for those before as well. Now, another great use case for these is throwing them into objectives before your team enters. Given that any objective, any side objective you're gonna walk up to, there's gonna be a horde of enemies inside. It'll completely soften up that area, spraying bug guts across the floor, like we said, and spill in robot oil. It's gonna make it super easy for you to just waltz right in and clean up the rest and just finish off the objective. And the clip I have in the background of this section was me just spawning into a random map and I just threw one of these in there just to give you guys an idea of the randomness and what this can do. Once the barrage was done going off, I simply walked in and there were just a few enemies left over to finish off. And that is pretty solid for a barrage stratagem to do that. I can imagine that the orbital laser would have same results. I would imagine the orbital laser would leave a couple enemies behind just because it's got to chase everything down and it only has a certain uptime but the orbital laser has a 300 second cooldown compared to 240. So I think for objectives, we get similar results and that's a pretty decent comparison. Now, another great way to use this is for area denial, like when you're defending the extraction and all hell breaks loose, or for situations when you open up your minimap and there are red dots everywhere. What better way to add to the chaos than with some managed chaos? And what better way to show off this kind of strategy than to tell you guys about the bra build? Now, before this new module dropped, my squad was running all barrages and airstrikes in evacuation mission, and we were even running off the map for the super secret traitor barrage technology. And as much of a meme as this sounds like, it's honestly one of the better ways we've found to do bot eradicate missions, especially right now with how insane they get with factory striders dropping in. You're pretty much guaranteed to die in eradicate missions and drop your support weapon, drop your backpack, so why not just bring multiple barrages and airstrikes instead? And that video will be linked in the description down below. I recommend checking it out because it's honestly just a good time. So now let's talk about all the pros and cons of the 380 versus the 120 and why I think the 120 honestly needs a cooldown buff because the 380 is overall just always better in my experience. So both of these stratagems have a 240 second cooldown. They both throw down 18 shells. The 380 does, does it over a more prolonged period of time, so technically the 120 gets its damage down quicker, but it doesn't do as much damage as the 380, given that they fire the same amount of shells, and the 380 
does more damage. The 380 can actually one tap a Bile Titan if it gets a direct hit. Now at the same time, the 120 is more focused, so it's specifically nice for Shrieker Nest, but the 380 can still deal with stuff like that. And just in general, I feel the 120 doesn't have many reasons to bring it over the 380, and even in those cases like the Detector Towers and Shrieker Nest, honestly, you'd be better bringing something else for those if you're specifically worried about those, like a Precision Strike or like a 500 kg. The 500 kg gets two charges rather than one, and the Precision Strike has just a much shorter cooldown, and it can also kill Detector Tower. So even where the 120 seems like it would be better than the 380, there are just better options with shorter cooldown. And that's why I kind of feel like the 120 should get a cooldown buff, like maybe down to 200 seconds rather than 40, and then you would actually have a reason to bring it over the 380. So if you guys enjoyed this breakdown, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.